from Playboy Bunny to media maven, Candace Jordan joins us in studio to share what it was like posing nude at 65. All right, Candace Jordan has graced the cover of Playboy nine different times. Wow, 30 years after her first appearance in the mag, she is showing us age ain't nothing but a number. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank so good you. to have it's you good here. Good to be back. Thanks for oh, you know, and we you deserve say, a standing ovation. Yes. I mean, my goodness. She is the, you are the original J Lo. Like oh. after the Super Bowl, everyone's like, how does J Lo do it? How do you do it? Because oh, you've done it way longer well. than she has. Woohoo, that's a pretty pretty big compliment. <laughs> well, you know, 40 years I've been with Playboy. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's like I'm with them longer than my real family. <laughs> and um, and they call me back. I mean, this is like the second time in 40 years I did a cover remake three years ago, and now this, and it's just, and it's truly it's exploding. And I think it's because the Me Too movement is so prominent now. And I think women are realizing that, you know, you, your sexuality doesn't stop when you're 20 or 30. Love and they it. appreciate the fact that I kind of stepped out of a box and proved it. To, it's, it's, that's the way it is. I love the story about how when they called you to do it again, what, what were you just doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was, we, my husband and I were in Dollywood, and I was happily eating my way through every fried food stand there. <laughs> and so I get, I'm checking my phone. I get this email. At first I look at it, I think this is a a joke. Somebody is saying, you know, yeah, Candace, we want you back to do a 12-page cover pictorial for Playboy. So I spit out the funnel cake <laughs> <laughs> and immediately went on a crash diet. And, you know, kind of the rest is history. But, I mean, we shot it in L.A. It was at Esther Burbank's, at Esther Williams' old house, so the swimmer from the 40s. And, I mean, they had a cast and crew. They had, like, maybe 70 people. It was a huge, huge deal. And they celebrated five decades of Playmates, and wow. I was one of them. So it was, it was just magnificent. What's the difference of doing Playboy then versus doing Playboy now, just um, the, bas basically the community reception, how they view it. Well, the difference is about 10, 15 pounds, quite frankly. <laughs> <laughs> what? You know, I did it. I shot my centerfold when I was 25, and um, you know, I was, you know, I was confident in my body, obviously, or else I wouldn't have posed for the uh, magazine, but. You know, I have to admit that 40 years later, even though my figure's not quite what it was then, I'm much more confident in front of mm -hmm. a camera. Wow. And so, you know, it's, it offsets that. And uh, and I love seeing my Playmate sisters again. I mean, we're a family, a longtime family, and I'm still friendly with almost all the girls that I ever worked with. So, yeah, it, it truly is a family. And then the perception from the world, because I feel like people are way more accepting these days of women being able to share and show what they want. You look amazing. Oh, oh, thank you. Gosh, that is incredible. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah no, I'm pretty pleased with those <laughs> pictures. Well, and I gotta say, it. like, I, I feel like. You know, 20 years ago, people thought, you know, you hit 40, you hit 50, and you're old, and yeah. you let it go. Yeah, and then, you're, it's over. Yeah, and you don't have to do that. No, no, God, no. I mean, it, I think the opposite is true. I think women nowadays, as they get older, they learn, well, first of all, it, the health and nutrition is so prominent. We all know so much more about nutrition than we ever did before, you know, and also about exercise. I mean, back in the day, you know, you really, that wasn't even important. No. Nobody even thought about it. And so that's why, you know, Christy Brinkley at 65, and I mean, all these, these older models, I mean, they look better now, I think, than they did when they I started. I agree, because the confidence mm -hmm. shows yeah. through, for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Playboy's going kind of back and forth on whether they went nude and then not nude for a while, back to nude, of course. <laughs> where, did, where does Playboy go next through here? I imagine it's through things like this, yeah. celebrating women in all forms and shapes oh, and sizes and everything. They are all about diversity now, and it, the magazine, in my opinion, has never looked better. I mean, I love the articles that they do. They're all inclusive. I mean, it's for every age group, every, I mean, men and women. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. both. And um, I think Heffner would be very proud of the way the magazine's gone because he was always about equality issues. Yeah, I would, yeah. I would have I thought that men's magazine is almost now more of a women's magazine. Well, you know, that's funny because I have received more mail from women about this layout, recent layout, than any men. So, I mean, I don't know what the numbers are as far as who's reading it, but I would bet the women are way up there in numbers. Right, for sure. Yeah. Candace, thanks so much for Thank stopping you. by. Thanks for having me. We appreciate awesome. it as always. So keep up with Candace. Head to our website, CandidCandace.com. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you look awesome. great there, too. <laughs> yes. You're so cute.